In this video, my oldest and I are putting on the finishing touches to her block letter A LED lamp. The lamp is a request from her for her birthday since her sister got one for her birthday. So shall the oldest. Now this video is the end of the process and I will be working on putting together the rest of the process in later cuts. We spray painted this project and didn't let the plastic dry that it was on before completely flipping the project. So here you see us scraping the paint off the little flakes that stuck on the surface. Now it is time to check the hinges and gauge how they're going to work. These hinges are going to be on the back side, which you don't see here. This is the face. The hinges are designed to be what holds this A together and allow us access to the LEDs at a later date in case the LEDs fail. I have not used the brand of LEDs that I bought for this before, so I'm making sure I have access to them just in case. Here I'm explaining to her what the process is and how the LEDs are going to work, what we're going to go to, and why the hinges. Now it is time to plan and measure out the LED strip. This is a bit of a process because we want the glow to come from all parts of the perimeter here, inside and out of the A. As I'm going around, I'm using my fingers and certain push points to hold this in place just to gauge what's going on in the thought process as well as to get through the maze and make sure we get all those points. It is measured and now cut. Now it is time to peel in place. This is the fun part. As we peel in place, Lex is helping to push in the LEDs around the groove that I've routed into the sides of these boards. It helped having the smaller hands and fingers to do this, especially at the top part of the A here. Throughout this process, we are making sure that we push in these LEDs so it'll stick. We're also making sure we don't have any pinch points and that the LEDs are fluid throughout. And we have light. A little bit of a preview here. Uh, we will get into it and see the final product here soon. Now for the challenge of attacking this thing. Grabbing it, making sure it's attached, and flipping it. As we're doing this, we're looking to add the hardware. So we're double checking, measuring, making sure everything's set up. And in its place and then we're going to pre-drill the holes for the hardware. Lexa was able to help with pre-drilling the holes here throughout this but we did not uh, let her use the impact drill because I did not want her to go ham and bust up or push in too far on the screws.
it's always fun and sometimes a little frustrating when you have a little helping you with something that they haven't done before. But, you know, we have to have that patience and everybody starts somewhere. You have to learn and we definitely had a learning experience on this between her and I. Several different things. It's always a good time. The hinges are set, time to work on the hanging hardware, pre-drill and then screw in. Here we have the final product. We noticed that there is a slight gap on the A and she and I figured that the next time we shouldn't round the edges of the interior boards where they meet the outside boards on that uh, TP there and it would have made the gaps less noticeable if noticeable at all. Now it's time to hang it above her bed, and she's a happy, happy girl. Not only did this project help us get some time together, but she had a hand in it, and it is now above her bed, and she is absolutely ecstatic about it.